Hey, what's up, guys? We're ready to break a world record in Clash Royale by getting more golems than you've ever seen. We're going to be rewriting Clash Royale's history and all of your textbooks and putting myself to the ultimate test. How many golems can I get on the map? To achieve our ultimate dreams and memes, we've got the help of the Mirror Elixir Collector. I'm gonna be stacking up as many of those as possible on the map so we can get an absurd elixir advantage. And you guys already know, I have the cheapest cycle possible with Heal Spirit, Ice Spirit, Skeletons, and Bats, so I barely have to spend any elixir to get back. This is definitely one of the dumbest challenges that I've ever attempted. I've only got Heal Spirit, Bats, and Ice Spirit to shoot up. And if our opponent throws down a hog rider or a royal giant, I've got no way of pulling them. I don't have a building. I have no idea how we're going to pull this off, but let's go jump straight some games, cycle as many golems as we can, and assert dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. Thanks to everyone that's using Creative Code Sir Tag, making high effort videos like this one possible. All right, so jumping into the action here, guys. Obviously, if we're playing against a log bait deck, and I have absolutely no small spells, this is not what we wanted to see, Chief. I'm going to go for an Elixir Collector in the middle. Hopefully, he rockets it. And then I get another mirrored up Elixir Collector to make our paradise. Oh, man. This is a Dark Goblin, too. And a Knight. So, he's spending a lot of Elixir on me. I'll go Golden Knight. I think it kills the Dark Goblin first, and then it can finish off the Knight. I'm going to... Oh. Do I Heal Spirit or do I Collector? I think I Collector and just sacrifice the Golden Knight. Well, we're... F oh, let's go. You went in for a Goblin Gang nearest tower. That's sensational. Maybe he doesn't have a big spell. Maybe he has absolutely no way of countering us. I'm going to heal spirit here and then go for bats. I timed it immaculately so we were able to hit every single one of the skeleton barrel skeletons. We're vibing with it. This deck is hitting different right now. Wow. My first victim without any big spells. At least I think so, right? Like, I don't know. What are we going to do? Do I go for another collector? I think I got to keep going for collectors. We got to collect these W's out here. We got to collect those massive, juicy, positive elixir trades. Okay. I'm going to go golden knight. Use the ability. Kills all the goblins and should finish off the night as well. This is ridiculous. Are you kidding me right now? Ah, I'm loving every single second of this. I dislike that though. I very much dislike that. I have to heal spirit and then I wonder, I wonder what happens if I go in for bats further back. Is that going to be a vibe? I need to ice spirit. I don't think I timed that perfectly. Please hit all the skeletons. Doesn't hit them all. You know what? I'm going to go for Golem in the back. At this point, I have a huge elixir advantage. I have to capitalize on it. I have to get something out of it. I can go for Skeletons up top to finish off the Dark Goblin, but he drops it in a peculiar placement, so I need to go in for a Golden Knight now. I don't love this. Golden Knight, you're, you're going backwards for whatever reason. You're not a very smart and sophisticated sir. So how many Golems can I get here? If I go in for multiple, <laughs> it's going to be the vibe. It's the strategy today. I was hoping that we could pop the Golden Knight ability as well. It didn't necessarily work out in my favor. How many Golden Knights can I get on the map? Only one, but I can get tons of Golems. The first Golem explodes and kills all of his bait cards, and with 50 seconds remaining, all I want to do is get the Golden Knight to dash onto the tower. I have simple needs in life. I want the Golden Knight to dash onto- I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. All of his stuff at once. Let's go. <laughs> he just goes, guys. He's uh, zooming real fast. This is also eight wins into a grand challenge, so I'm not really sure what's happening here. I don't understand how I'm able to win this many games. I don't know how I just got three golems on the map and eight wins in a grand challenge, guys. But we're out here. We're vibing with our level 13 golem. It hits different. It's crazy how that thing just looks at all the spear goblins. It's like, yeah, you're tickling me. It doesn't matter. This guy is shamelessly trying to take a tower when he's about to get three crowned, and there's no way for him to pull off that golem from the three. GG. <laughs> Well played and peace out. I am loving this. Just to show you guys that we're at eight wins at a grand challenge. I've been memeing it up today and I don't know how we've gotten this far. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. All right, so jump into the action here against Alex. We're gonna sauce out of good luck and figure out what he's got. If he doesn't have a spell, he is gonna be one sad sir. So I'm stoked up for this match. Ice Spirit is going to bait out a Witch, so that's not really the direction that we want to go. If we're seeing Witch, it's going to be a lot of distractions and a ton of skeletons that I can't remove because, obviously, I don't have any spells. Maybe the Golden Knight will clean everything up for me. Will he be that nice of a sir? <laughs> the Mighty Miner is one of those cards that is going to be extremely problematic for my Golems because, you know, they're beatdown cards. They don't like seeing the ground Inferno Dragon, and this is even worse for me. I don't have a building. That Electric Giant is just going to pop off. How am I supposed to finish that off? Asking for a friend. 
So I'm going to go bats here and then try to Ice Spirit to reset the Mighty Miner. But I have absolutely no answer for that Electric Giant. So I'm looking at that. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm going to pretend that it doesn't exist. You can take my tower, but you might not be able to... I wasn't going to say might not be able to counter the golem, guys. That was a figment of your imagination. All right, so this one is the fattest L of my life. I can't believe the dude whips out an Electro Giant, which I can't counter, then goes in for a Mighty Miner that I can barely counter, and then right when I think I'm back in business, he whips out a Fisherman to activate King Tower. So credit where credit is too. <laughs> this game was lost in a blink of an eye, snap of the fingers. We got utterly destroyed. But the Golden Knight dashed onto the tower for some type of consolation prize. Regardless, we'll bounce back into the next game. To jump into this game against the last knight, this is not going to be the last night that he sees Golem in his nightmares. If we can get four or five of them on the map, that would be unprecedented behavior. You know what? What I would usually do is I would go for Golem right now. If he drops a fisherman in the back, he yoinks it towards the tower. <laughs> That is free damage for me. I'm just going to do it because sometimes it's worth it, you know, just for the memes. This is more meme -y than being able to go and cycle four golems because, like, the golem just gets an expedited first-class trip, you know? He just goes onto the tower and says, thanks, I'll collect that free damage. Oh, my gosh. Wait, do we do it again? I'm going to do it two times in a row. Let's freaking go. This is awesome. I want to see his reaction right now. <laughs> this is so toxic. <laughs> I love this game. I truly do. Because the level 13 golem will probably explode and finish off the entire tower. Did I kill his tower without doing anything besides dropping golems? First time for everything out here, guys. All right, I'm going to go for a golden knight as well. We're going to click the ability. It's going to latch onto all of his stuff. And then he's going to feel like a very sad and, uh, I don't know, just <laughs> uh, cheated sir, I guess. I feel like if you were in a position where you went in for a real win condition, like a royal giant, and I was able to defend it with just all these one elixir cost cards, wouldn't you feel like the game is just incredibly imbalanced? Wouldn't you go on Twitter and just type at Supercell and be like, what are you doing to this game? Why would you let Mirror be so strong with level 13 golems? I feel like that's what we did to this guy. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to heal Spirit so then the Golden Knight doesn't take any more damage. Just didn't want to eat anything from that Barbaro at all. And this is going to be a fun game. I'm, I'm here for it. I don't have any buildings, by the way. So that, that is going to be a predicament for me. If we're playing against someone that has... A real giant, and I have to go for elixir collectors on defense. Something's telling me that that's not a good decision. Also, the dude could also have earthquake. I mean, I haven't seen the fact that he doesn't have earthquake, so I'm gonna assume that he has it. Uh, also, I want to go for ice spirit just to be able to stun and kind of like freeze that royal giant. Oh, that's a ton of damage. That is a lot of value for my dude again. I just want to see him cycle a fisherman in the back, and he does have earthquake. This is the worst possible thing for Elixir Collector. The only person in Clash Royale that's like, yeah, you know, Earthquake after the nerf. I'm still out here. I'm still running it. I don't care. All right, I'm going to Ice Spirit. I might be able to kill most of the bats here, hopefully. Oh, I do not kill all the bats. It is what it is. I think we're still vibing because it looks like the Golden Knight is going to be able to dash. So we'll see if it gets out of the way of the Giant Skeleton Bomb, please. Okay, kind of. Not really. That's an interesting situation. Um, I'm going to go Golem at the River because I need to. <laughs> not because I want to, guys. Not because I want to at all. All right, we'll go Golden Knight and try to kill the RG. If you continue to spam and just ignore it, oh, you're going to go for Fisherman and try to pull the, the Golem. But if I go for Skeleton's Mirror, you're not able to pull it. He's not able to pull it. He was thinking that he could go for a Fisherman, and then he freaked out, and he didn't know what to do. That's exactly what's up. Making those predictions can keep your opponents confused and keep your Golem on the tower. We had all the power. That was one of the most fun games I've played in a long time. All right, so jumping into the action here. First things first, guys, you already know the deal. I want to cycle as many collectors as I possibly can, so then I can get a huge advantage with multiple Golems on the map in double or triple Elixir. That's what we're going to be vibing with. I don't know if it's going to work, but I can hope and pray. Okay, I don't know if this guy's going to end up having Earthquake anymore because we see a Dark Prince. Um, not really sure what this deck is. A few capital accumulation later. So we're finally starting off our Golem spam. It has to happen here, guys. It needs to be done. It needs to be done. All right, so the Golem needs to be the primary target instead of the Skeletons, and the Skeletons get clapped. This is terrible. Please get off of my tower. Wait, if he doesn't have a big spell, we can still make this happen. We can still make this happen. Four golems on the map. Let's go, baby. We're going to do it. The first time that four golems have ever been cycled in a real Clash Royale match. 
<laughs> and I don't think that this guy's able to stop it despite having 17 different firecrackers. This is hilarious because the golems are going to explode and they're going to kill all the skeletons and they're just going to pop on the tower. This is what we needed. This is how I want to play the game. Bam golems until you're successful. <laughs> GG, well played and peace out, buddy. Four golems on the map is absolutely absurd. What the hell just happened? Maybe this guy isn't going to have a big spell because he hasn't done anything to my collector so far. So one can pray, one can hope that we can find a way. I'm going to go for two collectors. It seems like this guy isn't doing anything, so I'm here for it. Unless he graveyards. Oh, no, he's definitely got a graveyard deck. When we see a skill king, he is going to be packing the graveyard. Okay, I'm going to go for bats here just to spend a limited amount of elixir. I want to get back to another elixir collector. I wonder if the skeleton king isn't going to give him any utility. He's going to pop the ability here, right? He has to. There's no reason for him not to. Okay, yeah, there it is. I hate that thing. It's so strong. Okay, I'm going to click my ability and then Ice Spirit and then get Bats down, and that should be enough to counter. Do I have to go Bats? I think I do need to. The Inferno Dragon would lock onto my tower. That would deal like 500 damage, so I just can't play with Fire out here. That thing would burst me up in flames. Inferno Dragon and Tombstone is going to be problematic for our multiple Golem expedition. Like if I try to get two Golems on the map, they're just going to get shredded because he's got two counters, right? So that's going to be a problem as the game starts to ramp up and escalate. But one thing that's great about it is he's not fireballing on all of our collectors. We've got three of them on the map now. Despite this guy having, you know, a huge spell like Fireball, it's going to give him a neg negative Elixir trade every single time. So I'm here for it. All right. He's going to Graveyard. So I'm here with a Ice Spirit Bat. And then he'll probably arrows. We'll have to wait and see if I can cycle back to another bats. I think we can. Do I even need to, though? The bats are going back. <laughs> the bats bounce back. Let's get it. And now no Valkyrie in cycle, so I think the Golden Knight will be able to pop off. All I need to do is click the ability once, so it's definitely worth it. If I'm able to get that onto the tower, that... Hello, how are you? That would be 100% a vibe. Let's go! He was not a swift mobile gaming athlete. He failed spectacularly with that Skeleton King. Maybe Graveyards with it? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I just want to go Bats early on so he's not able to get much value. 100% overcommitting with the arrows there because he's not going to be able to get... Oh! Right when I said it, he does get the ability down. Yo, that's just lame. That's straight up lame. You're just cursing me every time and you're not even running Mother Witch. I'll go for a Golem in the back again and uh, I think we start to make our expedition with our first Golem play. Might not have been the best play because... <laughs> I'm not sure if I can break through with this golem. But I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to get the golden knight to dash onto the tombstone and the tower because he lined it up so nicely for me. And I'm going to golem on both sides. Let's go. We bit out the inferno dragon with our first one. And I think the second one. Oh, wait. Maybe we do this. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Yep, that's right. Maybe we get feisty and frisky with him. I'm here for it. Why not, right? Okay, I'm going to get a gold, Golden Knight counter down and uh, try to get skeletons and bats and other stuff as well. Mirrored skeletons for the win. Uh, the double golems, though. The first golem was dying real fast, but the second one made his mark on the tower. Let's go. I need the Golden Knight not to die here so I can get more golems. I have simple needs. Wait, are we able to kill his skeleton king with just golem death damage? Is that what happened there? Is that a figment of my imagination, or is that actually what just happened? I'm going to click the ability, and that should lock on the tower. I'm going to get another golem down here as well. He's going to fireball on golemites. That's when you know you're in a bad spot, when you have to fireball on a golem. Okay, I'm going to ice spirit him up with bats on the right-hand side, and then I can kind of create my own golem clone. Just instead of cloning up the bats, I go in for level 13 ones, right? That's 100% a vibe. I'm going to go and click the ability again. I think it locks onto the Zappies and then hopefully doesn't hit the King Tower. Yeah, I know it hit the King Tower, but it will matter. The Heal Spirit's going to come down. Please, Golem, just explode on the tower. You know you want to. Let's go. DG, well played and peace out, brother. Even if you end up having Tombstone with an Inferno Dragon, it's simply not enough. And you would think that would be one of the best possible answers to Golem, but apparently it isn't when you mirror up your Golem to level 13. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more daily content, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day.